We are looking at seven commonly asked questions about Bloomington, Indiana. So I thought I'd get this out of the way really quick and give you all those answers. Hey, what's up? I'm Wendy Kohlmeyer with the B-Town Realty Team. And if this is the first time on our channel and you want to find out more about eating, sleeping, playing, and living in Bloomington, Indiana, this is where it's at. Hit the subscribe button right now and tap the little bell so you will be notified every time I make a new video about Bloomington, Indiana. We have hundreds of people reaching out to us every week about moving to Bloomington and we absolutely love it. So if you are making a move to Bloomington or moving across town, give us a call we've got your back when it comes to living in Bloomington, Indiana. The first question is, where is Bloomington, Indiana? Good question. It's in the middle of a cornfield. <laughs> well, I'm kidding. Bloomington, Indiana is located 50 miles south of Indianapolis, Indiana, and is sometimes considered the gateway to the south. So it's in the southern part of the state. Question two, what's in Bloomington, Indiana? Well, Bloomington is home to Indiana University, which has kind of shaped the town. It boasts a lively cultural scene, diverse dining options, beautiful parks, and a strong sense of community. It also borders Hoosier National Forest, so there is a lot to do if you're an outdoor enthusiast as far as hiking and biking and boating and being in the outdoors. What's Bloomington, Indiana known for? Well, of course, it's known for Indiana University, which is a prestigious institution with a strong academic reputation. Also known for its arts and music scene. We have a lot going on here, and the city is kind of a hub for art, music, theater, dance, and we have numerous galleries, music venues, and performances. There's also the Bloomington Community Farmers Market, which is a weekly thing in from the spring to late fall. It's on Saturdays downtown and it is something you do not want to miss. Like I said before, Bloomington is known for its natural beauty and is a tree city and surrounded by Hoosier National Forest. So there is always something to do here for the outdoor enthusiast. Question four, what's the weather in Bloomington, Indiana? Well, Bloomington can be very cold in the winter with snow and very hot in the summer and very humid. The winters are usually pretty gray with snow. Moving into the spring, spring sometimes doesn't feel like spring here because there's a lot of rain and it takes a while for that to pass. So and the summers heat up pretty quickly. This summer we've been pretty fortunate. It hasn't been too hot and humid, but it does tend to get that way. We rarely see 100 degrees, but sometimes we do. And the humidity does make it hotter, but it's not as hot as the southern states. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, fall is another story. Fall is absolutely beautiful here. It's my favorite season in Indiana because the leaves, with all the rain we've had this year, the leaves are going to be magnificent. So we do experience four seasons in Bloomington. Question five, what's the population of Bloomington and what's the student population? So the population of Bloomington is roughly 85,000 with 45,000 of that being students. So we are definitely outnumbered here. But town is over 40,000 now. I'm not sure the exact number, but roughly that. So that's something to keep in mind. What restaurants are in Bloomington? We have a lot of restaurants in Bloomington. Last count was over 100 in just the downtown area. We do have some national chains. They're kind of on the perimeter of Bloomington, but we have a lot of local eateries and some of my favorites are Mother Bear's Pizza. There's two locations in Bloomington and the pizza is to die for and you can't come to Bloomington without eating at Mother Bear's. There's also the Uptown Cafe, which is downtown. They have kind of a American fare with Creole 
and they have a nice bar area there as well. So you definitely want to check out the Uptown. Also, Upland Brewery, which is on the north end of town, and they have their own beers that are sold nationwide now. But they have a nice menu, and you can eat outside there. They have a bar, obviously, and sell all their own brews there. But they do have some noteworthy vegan dishes, which is my favorite. So you definitely want to check out Upland Brewing. Another favorite place is Nick's English Hut, which has been around since forever. It was around when I was a little girl, so that's been a really long time. And they have the best strombolis in town. You definitely want to get a stromboli if you visit Nick's. It is a big IU hangout, and if you go watch a game there, you will truly get in the IU spirit of things. So. Those are just a few restaurants and there's many more. I will do a video about restaurants soon. So there's that. And question seven, what is Bloomington famous for? Well, we know that uh, there's several things. Indiana University, obviously, we've talked about that. And Hoagie Carmichael, who was a composer and writer, songwriter, he wrote the song Stardust, which was hit back in the day. I'm gonna say the 30s or 40s, I don't know exactly, but around then, Hoagie Carmichael is kind of a um, institution here. So uh, you'll see a sign out in front of the, the Gables building. Supposedly that's where he composed that piece. Wilmington is also famous for the Little 500 bike race, which was one of the first bike races. And we had a movie made about it called Breaking Away, and that was made in 1979. So that is a very famous movie. Also, John Mellencamp is from Bloomington and that's kind of a famous thing here. So back when he dated Meg Ryan, they were seen all over town and that was kind of a big thing. Also famous for its diverse cultural offerings and of course, Hoosier National Forest, like I said before. So any other questions you'd like answered, put them in the comment box below and I will do my best to get those answered. Again, I make a video about Bloomington every week, so I will see you next week.